Welcome to Astronomy Daily, your go-to podcast for the latest and most exciting developments in space and astronomy. I'm your host, Anna, and I'm thrilled to bring you another episode packed with cosmic wonders and scientific breakthroughs. Today, we've got a stellar lineup of stories that will take us from the farthest reaches of the universe to our own cosmic backyard. We'll explore record-setting jets from a distant black hole, witness a dramatic rocket launch abort, celebrate the hidden figures of NASA's past, ponder the possibility of ancient Earth sporting Saturn-like rings, and even discuss the potential for space lasers in planetary defense. So buckle up and prepare for liftoff as we embark on this cosmic journey together. Let's dive into the fascinating world of space science and exploration on this episode of Astronomy Daily. In a groundbreaking discovery, astronomers have detected the largest known jets of energy shooting from a supermassive black hole. These colossal beams extend an astonishing 23 million light years from end to end, dwarfing our entire Milky Way galaxy. The black hole responsible for this cosmic spectacle is located in a galaxy about 7.5 billion light years from Earth. To put that in perspective, we're observing an event that occurred when the universe was less than half its current age. These jets, nicknamed Porphyrian after a giant from Greek mythology, are truly massive. They're about 30% longer than the previous record holder, making them the most extensive structures of their kind ever observed. But what exactly are these jets? They're made up of subatomic particles, electrons and positrons, along with magnetic fields all moving at nearly the speed of light. These particles are ejected from the area around the black hole as it devours nearby matter like gas, dust, and even entire stars. The energy output of these jets is mind-boggling. Scientists estimate it's equivalent to the energy released by trillions of stars like our sun, or the amount produced when entire galaxy clusters collide. This discovery isn't just about breaking records, though. It provides valuable insights into how black holes influence their surroundings on a truly enormous scale. These jets can heat up interstellar gas, potentially affecting star formation across vast regions of space. They might even play a role in distributing energy and magnetic fields throughout the cosmic web. The large-scale structure of the universe. The observation was made possible by LOFAR, a network of radio antennas primarily based in the Netherlands. This cutting-edge technology allows astronomers to peer deeper into the universe and uncover phenomena that push the boundaries of our understanding of cosmic processes. As we continue to explore the depths of space, Discoveries like Porphyrian remind us of the immense power and influence of supermassive black holes in shaping our universe. In Space Launch News, Rocket Lab experienced a last-second abort during their latest mission attempt. The company's Electron rocket was poised to lift off from New Zealand, carrying five Internet of Things satellites for the French company Keynice. However, as the countdown reached zero and the first-stage engines ignited, they immediately shut down, resulting in a launch abort. Rocket Lab has named this mission Kinus Killed the Radiot Star, a playful nod to the payload and a classic song title. This would have been their second launch for Kinice, following a successful five-satellite deployment in June. The abort occurred at the precise moment of the instantaneous launch window, leaving no opportunity for a same-day retry. Rocket Lab's team is now assessing options for the next launch attempt within their 14-day launch window. This mission is part of a larger contract between Rocket Lab and Kinice, which aims to deploy a total of 25 satellites using the Electron, a small but capable rocket standing at 59 feet tall. Despite this setback, Rocket Lab maintains an impressive track record with 52 orbital missions to date, including 10 successful launches in 2024 alone. Now a story about recognition that many would consider long overdue. In a moving ceremony at the U.S. Capitol, four trailblazing women of NASA were honored with congressional gold medals for their groundbreaking contributions to space exploration. Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, Mary Jackson, and Christine Darden, the hidden figures behind America's space race success, were finally given their well-deserved recognition. The event, held in Emancipation Hall, brought together lawmakers, NASA officials, and family members of these remarkable women. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson highlighted how their pioneering work laid the foundation for today's achievements in space. These African-American mathematicians and engineers played crucial roles in NASA's early spaceflight programs, from calculating flight trajectories to becoming the agency's first black female supervisor and engineer. Their stories, largely unknown for decades, were brought to light by Margot Lee Shetterly's book Hidden Figures and the subsequent film adaptation. The ceremony not only celebrated these four women, but also acknowledged the countless others who worked behind the scenes at NASA, performing critical calculations before the advent of electronic computers. 
This Congressional Gold Medal, one of the highest civilian honors in the United States, serves as a testament to their enduring legacy and the impact they've had on generations of scientists and engineers. It's a powerful reminder of the importance of diversity in scientific advancement and a long overdue recognition of these hidden figures who helped shape America's space program. Now let's turn our attention to a fascinating piece of research that's shaking up our understanding of Earth's ancient past. A new study suggests that our planet may have once sported a ring system similar to Saturn's about 466 million years ago. This isn't just idle speculation. It's based on some intriguing evidence from 21 crater sites around the world. Here's the story. Researchers believe that Earth may have captured and destroyed a passing asteroid, creating a debris ring that lasted for tens of millions of years. This event potentially occurred during the Ordovician period, a time when our planet experienced a significant increase in asteroid impacts. The team led by Andy Tompkins from Monash University used computer models to map out where these craters were when they first formed. Interestingly, all the craters were found within 30 degrees of the equator. This pattern is consistent with what we'd expect from a debris ring orbiting Earth, as such rings typically form above a planet's equator. Now you might be wondering about the implications of such a ring system. Well, the researchers suggest it could have had a major impact on Earth's climate. Because Earth's axis is tilted relative to its orbit around the sun, this ring would have cast a shadow over parts of our planet's surface. This could have contributed to global cooling, potentially playing a role in the Hernantian Ice Age, the coldest period Earth has experienced in the past 500 million years. Of course, as with all groundbreaking research, more evidence is needed to confirm this hypothesis. But it's an exciting possibility that gives us a new perspective on Earth's dynamic history. Who knows what other surprises our planet might be hiding in its geological record. Now let's talk about an intriguing concept that might sound like it's straight out of science fiction, using powerful lasers in space for planetary defense. A recent study has explored the idea of deploying laser arrays in space, primarily for deflecting potentially hazardous asteroids. The concept known as DSTAR, which stands for Directed Energy Systems for Targeting of Asteroids and Exploration, involves creating a modular array of lasers powered by solar cells. These space-based lasers could heat the surface of incoming asteroids to about 3,000 Kelvin, hot enough to melt or vaporize their constituents and alter their course. Additionally, such a system could potentially be used to propel spacecraft. However, with great power comes great responsibility. The destructive potential of these laser arrays raises concerns about their possible use as weapons. To address this, researchers suggest deploying them at safe distances from Earth where they pose no threat to our planet. The size and power of the laser array would determine its safe minimum distance from Earth. Smaller arrays could potentially be positioned at Lagrange points between the Earth and Sun, while larger, more powerful arrays would need to be placed much further out in the solar system, possibly beyond the asteroid belt or even Jupiter's orbit. One challenge is balancing the laser's power with available solar energy, which decreases the further the array is from the Sun. Engineers would need to consider this trade-off when designing and positioning these systems. While no one is building a D-Star array just yet, it's crucial to start thinking about the implications and potential uses of such technology. As we continue to explore space and seek ways to protect our planet, concepts like space-based lasers may become increasingly relevant in our discussions about planetary defense and space exploration. And that wraps up today's episode of Astronomy Daily. We've covered some truly fascinating developments in space science and exploration. From the record-setting jets blasting out of a distant black hole to the potential for space lasers to protect our planet, the universe continues to amaze and challenge us. We also celebrated the long overdue recognition of the hidden figures who played such a crucial role in NASA's early achievements and explored the intriguing possibility that Earth once had its own ring system. I'm Anna, and I've been your host for this cosmic journey. If you're hungry for more space news and want to stay up to date with the latest discoveries, be sure to visit our website at astronomydaily.io. There you can sign up for our free daily newsletter and explore our constantly updating news feed. Don't forget to check out all our previous episodes on the website as well. And if you want even more Astronomy Daily content, find us on social media. Just search for Astro Daily Pod on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok. Thanks for listening, and remember to keep looking up.